Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. I'm YouTube famous now. And Pee Pee's here with me too. Can I have a kiss, Pee Pee? He said you can have a slow kiss. He just actually woke up from a nap. And he wanted to put on his shirt for the video because he loves wearing his blue shirts that we match in videos. He loves it, don't you, Pee Pee? Mm. So anyway, oh he said I want to be on your lap, Daddy. Okay, <laughs> how cute is he? Oh no, we don't need to be that close. You are like, what is the big announcement? Is he quitting his channel? Is he starting a fifth channel? Maybe a sixth channel? What could the possible big announcement be? Pause, please. Well, this is a twofer. So I'm gonna be doing a video in just a second, so stay tuned. But I wanted to do my big announcement before then because it's not that big of a deal. Really, kind of, it is, just stay tuned. So uh, I'm not gonna make you wait till the end of the video like everybody else, but my one year of being on YouTube consistently, every day, for a year. Okay, now if you go and you search, you're gonna find old videos of mine from years ago when I had different kinds of channels and whatever, but consistently posting every day from a year, my anniversary is May 11th. And I'm super, super excited about it. It started on BookTube, and then I went over and I started this channel in like August or September. So I have consistently been posting a video every day since May 11th. And, um, you know, I've done a lot of videos and I've said a lot about people like basically begging for money on YouTube and all this kind of stuff. And I was thinking about this because I want to do something kind of really fun and celebratory for my one year. And uh, I'm going to do something completely separate on BookTube. So if you want to participate in that, stay tuned. Follow my channel on BookTube. It's listed below. It's called Peter Likes Books. You don't have to. But on here, I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know, we're kind of right now in this era of YouTubers basically complaining that they can't make it on YouTube, but we never really thank, like we do in videos, but we never really like just out of our heart of hearts, like thank you guys for giving us the platform to get on here and make foolish videos or make endearing videos and just, you know, give me this passion to wake up on a daily basis. And, you know, a year ago to today, because it's not May 11th yet, I didn't wake up every day and have this idea of like, what am I going to make a video about? And like, who am I going to talk to? And what's going to happen? And like, it's such an exciting kind of world to live in, you know, like as a YouTube viewer, as well as a YouTube creator, videographer, film actor director guy with a camera so anyway so i thought you know what like i want to thank you guys okay because you guys have really made this possible for me because if it hadn't been for you i wouldn't like nobody would be watching my videos right there wouldn't be one person out there watching my videos except for me and my dog pee because my husband he doesn't even watch my videos and um you guys have really made it so cool for me and i have four channels and some people watch some of my videos every day so that's like an amazing thing right and I was like, what could I do to give back to you guys that would be very much of the wolf pack, woof woof, which are the, all of us together on these channels. And that would be like true to who I am without being bs if that makes sense. I've talked enough about that in my Patreon video. So no, I'm not starting a Patreon account. What I'm going to do is... I'm gonna have a two part giveaway, okay? And it's gonna be sometime this month. I've gotta figure out how to do it first. But the first part is that I will be giving a cheapo box. If you've watched my cheapo box videos, I will list one below. I do a cheapo box like once every other month. And a lot of times people are like, is this real? It's like a cheapo box unboxing. So somebody out there will win their very own exclusive cheapo box designed exclusively by me that will probably have a lot of the heartfelt memories from the past year there will definitely be a poopy to chiffon doll in there um there will be you know letter from me things like that i want to make it very very personal because whoever gets that box i want them to have the experience of what i have making the video okay and the second thing that i'm going to do is because i'm going to that will only be for the uh, u.s residents because it's they're so heavy that it's going to be really hard for me to ship internationally but i want everybody because i have a lot of people that are international that watch my videos i want them to enjoy it too so starting after that on the same video i'm going to also do a contest where three people internationally win something smaller from me. And it'll probably be very funny. I, I, I have an idea of what I'm gonna do. It'll be very endearing, but very funny. Like both of them will be something that like will be endearing from me, but also funny too. It won't be junk. It won't be, you know, makeup palettes. Uh, listen, listen, okay? Enough of that. I don't do that on my channel. That won't be happening. I mean, maybe a nail polish. But anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then I have another huge announcement that I'm going to be making 
on my anniversary, May 11th. So please stay tuned, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Um, I kind of hinted at it on my vlog channel like one time and nobody caught on. So I was like, oh, okay. But anyway, so that being said, those are my big announcements for today. I'm doing a cheapo box giveaway. I'm so excited about it. I kind of thought about it for a while and I was like, well, this could be really, really fun, right? Because I actually was going to start selling them and do them individually, but I was like, who would ever even buy a cheapo box? PP is now asleep on my lap, so I don't know how we're going to do this video. But if you've stuck around long enough, this is a magazine video. Oh, PP, sorry. This is a magazine video. And today I picked the National Examiner. Why? Because it has our favorite thing in here, PP. Oh, my lord. No, not the Munsters, that lamp that you can get right there for $89.99 and three easy installments, probably. Oh, my lord, look at that. Fully sculpted, hand-painted lamb base. Stars Herman, Lily, Grandpa, and Eddie. What's the girl with the long hair? She's my favorite. Anyway. Oh, my lord, aliens nuked all life off of Mars. Who'd know about all that? I wouldn't know about all that, but I like that. So, anyway. Okay. I want to go to Mars. I want to be an alien, all this kind of stuff. Where's the Sheila Wood Friendship Club? I swear to God, if I bought this magazine and took the Sheila Wood Friendship Club out of here, I'm going to be so thrown out. Okay. Sheila Wood, Sheila Wood. She ain't in here. Oh, no. Yes, she is. <laughs> Look at him. He's, I can't move because he's asleep on my arm, you guys. Did they get... Oh, my God. They got a... Did they get a new couple? They got a new couple on here. Oh, my God. Sheila Wood's Friendship Club. Find true love through our friendship club, just like these happy couples. Levi and Melody Fro No, I've said their name before. They were married on uh, March 7th, 1993. Well, happy belated anniversary, uh, Levi and Melody. If you're still together, that picture is, uh, I can't imagine. But anyway, we're going to get to that in a second. But on the cover, let's see. Jimmy Stewart's secret mental breakdown. <laughs> New photos of cripple Robert Conrad, sad last day. This is... To be, like, listen, I've said this before. Do you guys know the age audience is on this? About 90. Julie Andrews, what about the problem like Maria? The hills are alive with the sound. I love that music, that movie so much when I was growing up. I totally wanted to go there, and I wanted to see the house and everything. And then my aunt, she even named one of her daughters Liesl after the girl in the movie. And she ended up going there, and I was so jealous. And I just wanted to go to that place where they all, like, swim in that lake, and then they make the outfits out of, uh... What do you call it? Out of uh, curtains. And I even said to my mom, I said, Mom, can we please make some outfits out of curtains? She was like, no, we don't need to do all that. Okay. So anyway, Julie Andrews Health Crisis, Mary Poppins Brave Fight for Life. Aw. Rail Thin, star at doctor's visit. She looks uh, rail thin. I mean, she's not like she's ever been heavy. Dick Van Dyke scrapbook. Ugh, who'd care? Okay, let's see. Lords of the Rings. These celebrity diamonds are a cut above. And it's all these people that have huge diamonds. Well, like right here it says Liz, um, Elizabeth Taylor. But you know she got that Hope Diamond, right? So anyway, a 33 karat crook diamond for $307,000. Look at Jackie O's engagement to Aristotle and Assis. Came with a 40 karat, two, I don't understand what that, any of that means. Who'd care about any of this kind of stuff? It's so boring. Anyway, a Mariah Carey, she bought her own ring. I mean, let's just be for real, okay? Win this fabulous $3,000 baby mom basket. Listen, you guys better go out there and get that right now if you're a baby mom, because that's some, that's pretty good right there. Listen to that. I'll tell you what's in it. Pawnee Locks hair accessories. Uh, mooch and me candle. I mean, who wouldn't want a mooch and me candle? I might want a pooch and me candle, but not a mooch and me candle. Baby bee hummingbirds gift certificate. I don't even know what any of this stuff is. It looks pretty good. Get your car in summer shape. A checklist to ensure a smooth ride. For all, all season, look at them, that nice elderly couple right there. And don't get me wrong, I love elderlies, but um, I'm about one of them myself. But it, the PP, we don't need to be barked. He's like, we're all elderly. If PP was in dog years, we won't even talk about that because it makes me so sad. This magazine never, this isn't even a magazine, it's basically just a rag mag tabloid. Anyway, Armless Teen Scores Points for Courage. Oh, that's really sweet. Okay, Jam Jamarian sinks buzzer beater and becomes an all-internet all-star. Florida student's buzzer beating shot in a basketball game was incredible because he has no arms. When 13-year-old Jamarian Stiles when, was an infant, he lost most of his upper limbs after contracting a real bacterial infection. His right arm is missing from below the shoulder and his left is gone from below the elbow. So he plays basketball. Oh, at the University of Florida. PB? No. He can see out that window at squirrels and all kinds of madnesses. Oh, I think that's such a sweet story. Okay. I want to Henry Fonda saved Jimmy Stewart from suicide. Really? Depressing. I don't want to read about that. This is why I get the other magazines, because I don't even know any of these people. These what PB enough, please. Honey. 
you don't even see anything out there. You can't see that far. These washers and dryers don't take coins. Pope Francis Laundries, a new free service for Vatican areas, areas needy. This magazine is so nice. Most comfortable bra ever right there. Over the shoulder boulder holder. This is such a nice magazine. There's like no drama in it. Ooh, who'd care? Okay, scammers are with us, even in the psychic world. Amen. That Tyler Henry in Hollywood, he's like, well, I feel like you had a grandma at one point. I'm like, really? He's the one that went to Boy George's house. He had no idea who Boy George was. Your driver could have even told you that. We're going to Boy George's house. Karma, 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 chameleon. And then he says something about like, oh, I was watching next week's ad for it because I was watching the Kardashians with my good Judy Tanya last night. That show makes me so sad. But anyway... So we were uh, watching it, and there was an ad for Tyler Henry, and I go, I don't like him, and Tawny goes, oh, I love him, and I go, he's totally fake, and she's like, no, he's not, and the ad they showed was Khloe Kardashian and uh, Kylie Jenner, and he goes, there's a guy that comes into your life, and or has come into your life, and he dates one sister, and then tries to get with the other sister, and they both go, oh, really? I'm like, isn't that totally, like, just basically the world of the Kardashians? Like, what? I could have come up with that on a scrap piece of paper. Teen moms who hit the big time. Despite a stormy start in life, these celebs rose to the top. So Sophia Vergara, Aretha Franklin, Oprah Winfrey, Naomi Judd, Whoopi Goldberg, Roseanne Barr, and Loretta Lynn. We knew that about Loretta Lynn. That's basically the whole story of Coal Miner's Daughter. Dangers in your home. Stay protected for unforeseen risks. Housework, errands, medications. Look at it. I mean, you guys, seriously? Like, I can't even read this seriously. I am like the grandpa of YouTube. <laughs> Next, Robert Conrad, shocking collapse. Who is he? I don't even know who that is. What was he in? Does anybody then? This is like the, the oldest magazine I've ever read. <laughs> Judy, we need to go to the grocery store. The new examiner's out. I know. I need to get me some uh, of that stuff to put on my elbows, too. All right. Well, I got to get some of that stuff that stops me from having diarrhea. It's been real bad. Well, uh, pick me up an examiner, too. All right, Judy. I mean, come on. Cool. No, this is the mean one. This is where you don't they have the bloodthirsty stories because right after elderly want to learn about how to stay a safe, and they want to read these. It's a true blue Christmas. Look at that wreath. Look at that. If you love Elvis, I ain't even going to offend you, but that is tacky down, okay? And I'm sure it costs like $300 or something like that. Oh, it's made out of little 45s. The element of air. This is so boring. True love. Readers tell their stories. Love is a universal language. I want little peanut is what I want. I'd be like, little peanut, we're going to make a video. And then i just hold her. Wouldn't that be the strangest shit if you ever came on a video? I'm not with that. I've done worse. Julie Andrews' health nightmare. Singing voice already gone. She's now battling a new crisis. Julie and husband Blake in 2010, shortly before his death. I mean, it just makes me so sad. I actually think she looks pretty good. How old is she, does it say? Poor Julie seems to be on her last leg. A source, a source, a source, a source, a source. Source this, baby. It doesn't even say her age in here. I mean, what if she's 95? Well, then she looks pretty good, don't you think? I love that movie, 10, with her. Did you ever see that? Brewing up better minds. I mean, like, seriously, look at this, you guys. Your health, loosen up to stop joint pain. Look at that right there. Bunch of good Judy's up in the pool at age 80 doing aerobics. Or, oh, <laughs> doing jazz or water. I, I can't never. And then look at this. Better minds drinking tea. Let's just get to the... What is this? Not so sweet send-offs. Let's hope this buttercream burial was just a drink. These... Oh my lord, look at these are cakes. And look, somebody made a cake and it says free at last and it has a ball and chain on it. And then this one over here is a Barbie doll and it has a divorce paper in her hand. Let's hope this buttercream burial was just a dream. I do, I did, I'm done. <laughs> lord, divorce, divorce to finally get rid of that dumpster. <laughs> dumpster five i don't even understand this happy divorce it says you guys these are i'm not with stupid anymore <laughs> that's totally the uh title of this clickbaity video okay let's read sheila wood friendship club right here let's see women seeking men <laughs> fluffy <laughs> Where? Gregarious, creative, single white female, 50, in search of funny, single white male Indian, American. She's so specific about it. Good sense of humor, vital, no inmates or addicts, smokers or drama. 
Sorry, all you drama channels. Nice photo and no pictures of your junk, please. <laughs> Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, old-fashioned Asian woman, 75 years old, caring, thoughtful, sincere, affectionate, caregiver, quiet, home life, don't smoke, don't gamble, don't drink alcohol, not on drugs, <laughs> in search of gentlemen 75 years old or older, 90 will do, I guess. Don't smoke, don't drink, not on drugs, drinks occasionally, disabled veteran, okay, I'll take care of you. Any nationality, not abusive, who lives in Sacramento, Vajeo and Fairfield. Let's find happiness and take care of each other for the rest of our lives. That's pretty sweet, I think. All right. Single white female, 5'2", 80, years young. <laughs> That's what I say, girl. Non-smoker in search of a good man for companionship, 70 to 90. This, you guys, this magazine is all for the oldest. I mean, I am sorry. Okay, listen. I will buy you a subscription if I've offended you, but this magazine is for the people that are 80 and older. Let's just be for real. Enjoys movies, walks when they can do it, and traveling. Respond with picture. No junk. Doesn't say. They have one, sadly, men-seeking men down here. Let's read it. Missouri. <laughs> I love when people call Missouri, Missouri. It's like when people call Illinois, Illinois. Ugh, kill a beast. Gay white man, 58, attractive, witty, seeking gay white man, 45 to 65, possible long-term relationship, enjoys theater, old movies, museums, hairy a plus, nerdy a plus. You need a hairy nerd that likes... Okay, <laughs> let's pick one more. Uh, single black male, tall, neat, 70s, witty, income assured, can travel, relocate, no major problems, would like to meet lady with a sense of humor, please photo, phone. I'm done with that magazine, I'm never buying it again, never. I love you guys. I'll be back tomorrow, follow me on all my social media, and come back for the big announcement. Bye.